to my channel my name is julia if you're new what is it it's wednesday when did we get snow monday yeah we got more snow monday than we have in like two years and it's so icy outside and like my entire driveway is let me show you absolutely freezing I feel like it's the first time that I felt real cold in a very long time and it's a no for me. Don't love it. Don't don't love it at all. I I thought it was really cute when it was like actually snowing, but now it's just ice and I live in an HOA and so there's a sheet of ice covering the entire like shared driveway. Like I live in this like complex of townhouses and we all have like this shared driveway or whatever and like we pick, take our dogs out there like you have to walk out there and you would think they would salt it you would think that would be the least the hoa could do to contribute but we just rent this house so we don't actually like pay for the hoa so i really shouldn't be complaining but like i guess i'm speaking for the people that do own the houses that are right next to me yeah it's just been kind of annoying and I think we're gonna get another round of snow on Friday and it's already icy now. So like, I'm just kind of afraid what that will look like, but whatever. I did get something very exciting in the mail. What's up? I, I have no idea how to use this, but Canon EOS R50 and she's stunning and I don't know how to use her. It took me 24 hours to learn how to turn it on. So things are going well. Things are not chill, but that's okay. I think I genuinely like might take a class because like I don't even know how to close this lens. Like genuinely, if anyone knows how to like make this big part right here go like retract, that would be great. I wanted to actually film today's vlog on the camera, but I need an SD card and that's in the mail. I didn't buy it when I bought the camera like an idiot. So SD card is on its way. Hopefully by the next vlog, I'll be able to actually be filming on that camera. So I'm excited. I am definitely on track to get my period and I am literally in a heinous mood. Like I woke up today and I just like chose violence. Like I don't know why, but I apologize to Jordan because I was like, I just know I'm going to be kind of like grouchy today and like just not in the best of moods. So I honestly was just like, I wasn't even like motivated to vlog too. I like planned out my whole day today and I was like, oh, I'm just like, I feel like I'm just gonna be pissy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to like come off like that on camera, but at the same time, like that's real life. So whatever, everyone's entitled to a bad mood and that's, and right now is one of mine. Um, and like throw on the camera type of stuff. Like I know this is stupid, but when like things, nothing makes me more annoyed than when like I'm having technical difficulties. Like I'm looking at my work computer right now and it is a piece of junk. Like it really is. And there's always a time where I have to like call IT and something's not working and I just want to toss it off my porch you know what i mean so yeah so like when i was trying to figure out the camera thing it just was so frustrating and i was watching like 15 different youtube videos like i'm the idiot like can someone just teach me how to fucking focus the lens like none of the youtube videos were covering that probably because it's like like an idiot can do that you know what i mean me i am the idiot that actually can't i put on tan lux those tanning drops for the past couple of days and they definitely work except my hands are like kind of orange because i didn't wash them off and off so it's my own fault but i do like that stuff and it doesn't really smell that bad like when i like put the drops into my moisturizer and put it on my face i smell it the most then but when i used island of paradise tanning drops which i did think work but it smelled in the morning like I, it, the smell lingered on my face and I don't smell anything with the tan lock shop so I that's a win win in my book um I don't really think it's doing like too much in terms of the color but I'm way paler than this so but we'll take it because I'm literally staring at icicles outside my house right now anyway nothing's even like going wrong in my life at this moment I'm just I don't know it's just one of those days like i think i mentioned this in my last in one of my vlogs like you know it's the little things that matter and i totally think it's the little things that also really piss you off too you know when you get like your pants caught on the door handle and then you like <laughs> like that's the type of day i'm having also ravenous like every single thing that i'm eating is just like not enough so that's why i know i'm getting my period too and it's funny because my cousin mariana actually told me to track like my period symptoms on ovia it's an app called ovia and it's really crazy because i've been doing it and it literally tells you like like you're pretty much gonna have a shit day today <laughs> in terms of your mood 
and today i was like mm, be prepared to be a little grumpy and at this point i already like woke up and i was in a bad mood and then i saw that and i was like it's so weird how it just knows like your hormonal or your hormonal cycle i'm not shocked that it like, can predict when my period is but i'm shocked that it can predict like your mood swings and stuff so yeah i'm definitely in one right now <laughs> but i was posting shorts every single day like, the shorts are just like not it almost seems like a chore to have to do it and i feel like you might when i actually do like actual youtube it never feels like that i'm always just like enjoying it and i really do think like if you're not enjoying something that then what are you doing it for you know what i mean so i might actually do a week a weekly short instead of doing a short a day with each outfit i'll just do seven videos in one short if that makes sense because i do i do want to keep documenting my outfits for 75 hard but either way i'll show you my outfit i'm like really freezing today so i thought this sweater was appropriate I'm wearing this ski vibe turtleneck from i think it's steve madden randomly it was a gift and then these local european cargo pants sorry about the mess everything is a mess right now but the only thing about this sweater is that it sheds so like i just have like lint all over these pants these i love these pants i have them in green um and then i got them in black because i was obsessed with the green so much but they the black ones not the green ones the black ones attract lint like they were paid to do it so that's my only qualm and then my hair is disgusting so i'm wearing a hat and i had my black boots on but i'm not going to go put them on for the outfit i just have these like old like black lace-up boots like you need to wear snow boots outside so they're like kind of stylish snow boots i guess <laughs> but yeah that is that is the outfit of today i have an appointment tonight at 6 15. i'm going to this wellness spa that i haven't been to it's called note to self wellness i'm getting a scalp massage and i i'm so I am so excited. This is something I've wanted to do forever. And I feel like because scalp massages kind of blew up on t TikTok, like people are finally offering that as a service. And I'm thrilled because I've honest to God wanted this since I've been in high school. You know, when you're like, oh, can you rub my back or like my feet or like whatever? I'm always asking Jordan, I'm like, can you just rub my head? Like, that's all I want. So I am so pumped. I don't believe that they're like washing your hair and doing like a full like you know, looking at your scalp. I think it's really just like a pure massage, which all the days today, today is the time where I need that. In other news, I got a new rug. <laughs> See if you can see it. I got a new rug for my dining room because this, I don't know what I was doing the day that I picked out the rug that we have, but that was two years ago. So we needed an upgrade. So I got an upgrade. So I'm going to put that out in a little bit and then finish up the work day and then head to my appointment. I'm so excited. And I did it at 6.15 and I honestly wish I did it at like 5.15 because I want to go immediately after work because I just, that's what I need in my life right now. Oh, so anyway, I will catch up with you guys when I catch up with you guys. I'm ready to go. And this is what I'm wearing because it's... Jordan, what's the temperature outside? Cold. <laughs> in oil um but it was nice it was only 30 minutes i don't know if i had mentioned that earlier but 30 minutes um it was really weird because i had to like ring the doorbell like the door was locked and i had to ring the doorbell and then i walk in and the lady looks at me like i have like four heads and i was like you run a 6 15 appointment and i got there 10 minutes early because like that's what you do and <laughs> they were like having like a zoom meeting and I like definitely just interrupted it and I felt bad, but um, she was like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Like we're just wrapping up a meeting. It'll be five minutes, which was fine. Um, and again, I was there, I was early. I watch a lot of ASMR, like hair play on YouTube, like to relax. I feel like I, that's what I was expecting and more of like literally like a like head massage, scalp massage, but it was like a lot of like neck and shoulder 
and massage with gua sha she had like one of those hair scalp things that i used in the shower and she was like rubbing my head like that I felt like it would be a really really good thing if you want like hair growth because it felt like it was a very like hair stimulating for what it was, it was very nice and she was so kind and very, very insightful. Her name was Pierre, which I thought was a cool name. She, she was like informing me a little bit on like Chinese medicine because it's, I guess that's like what they practice there and that's what she's skilled in. So, and I'm very ignorant on that subject. So yeah, she was just kind of cluing me in on some things and I told her about how I get like very bad migraines and just like kind of like pressure points that you could do on yourself to kind of help relieve the pain and then she also mentioned to rub like your to have someone like rub your feet whenever you have a migraine i guess it's like drawing the energy down to like the bottom of your feet i don't know how i'm explaining it i make it i'm i sound like an idiot when i explained this but when she said it i was like that makes so much sense so that was cool to learn this was called note to self wellness and it's in like the old kensington philadelphia area i i just like wish that an asmr like like tingle spot would open because i know one opened in i want to say toronto or like on somewhere in maybe ontario i don't know or toronto or something in canada and i've never wanted to be a canadian more than i did when i found that out so uh it's like 7 30 right now so i'm gonna make dinner i'm gonna make a chicken caesar salad because i saw this like recipe on tiktok and it's like nothing different from a regular chicken caesar salad except except she crushes her croutons she uses this one specific dressing i'll show you guys yeah i've never thought to like crush your croutons before you put them in the salad like that makes so much sense why this is why i'm on tiktok this is why i'm on social media because i need to learn things so yeah i'm gonna do that now this vlog is gonna go into tomorrow so yeah i'll talk to you guys then just put on some makeup it's like 10 o'clock i need to get dressed but i figured i could show you my thought process while getting dressed for i think this is day 17 yeah day 17 of 75 hard style edition i figured i'd share like how i've been kind of like planning out the outfits which if i'm being honest i'm, I'm really not like I have a lot of pictures like on, on Pinterest and just like screenshots and stuff that I found on Instagram. And so sometimes I'll use those pictures as in inspiration for the outfit of the day. Like, and then sometimes like at night I have, like I'll think of something that I own. I'm like, oh, I'm going to wear that tomorrow. And I'm going to like style my outfit around that one piece of clothing. 
I haven't been putting a lot of planning into the 75 hard like each day just because like the type of person that like yes I like to plan ahead in some things but in terms of like creativity it's all about like how I'm feeling that day and like do I want to be more comfy or do I want to be like more chic is it that we also just got a snowstorm last week I was wearing a, like a mini skirt so things change so yeah I'm just kind of like doing it day by day and luckily I have the opportunity and like the time that I don't have to like rush out my door or anything because I work from home. Utilized like my skirt last week, like a summer skirt that I had. And I was thinking, I was like, wait, I have a very similar skirt that's long. So like a long white maxi skirt. And this, it's a summer skirt. I want to prove to myself that I could use my summer clothes for winter as well. That's not what I'm going to do today, I think. <laughs> but as I was getting ready, I realized I haven't used any of these products and I figured I'd just show you. I went to Ulta this past weekend and I forgot that Ulta has Mac two lip liners i got dervish i got dervish and then i got cork so this is cork i'm gonna use cork today but it's like a i, I would say like pretty deep neutral brown it almost looks like a really good contour color my, co my cousin mariana suggested this to me because she was like it's literally the perfect contour and i kind of want to put it next to my favorite foxy brown from charlotte tilbury and just kind of see the difference okay very slight difference but this is foxy brown it's definitely a little bit more warmer and this is more cool tone like more like a, a true contour color and then this is dervish this is something i do not have and honestly i was like i don't know if i'm often going to use this but I thought it was really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, like, it has, like, a slight shimmer. Almost like a really dark rose gold. That's the color that I'm thinking of. Nothing that I have. So, I picked that up. And I haven't tried this on my lips yet, but I when I swatched it, I really liked it. I was trying out the lip glosses, and I was like, oh my god. There is no better smell of a lip gloss than MAC. Like, MAC has it down. It's just so good. It's like the perfect vanilla. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. And this color is in Cultured and it's stunning. And I thought it would go really nice with Dervish. It's like, again, kind of like a pink with some like shimmery gold undertones, which I think would pair very well with Dervish. So, but I think I'm going to do Quark with Dervish over top. So let's do that now. I'm just making sure to blend it in like inwards. I'm not like blending it out. Obviously I don't want it to bleed onto my skin because then you kind of just lose the definition. Okay. Okay, so I blended that out and then I'm just gonna put Dervish over top. So pretty. An elite combo. But Ulta, I didn't realize that they carried Elemis which, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which I've never tried before and I really, really wanted to try their cleansing balm. So apparently they don't carry it full size, I guess at that Ulta that I went to, but they had a little mini size. So I was like, oh, that's actually perfect because I think this is relatively expensive. I don't know how much this was. Honestly, I didn't look at the price, but because I was like, whatever, it's the mini. But I've been using it. I keep it in my shower so that like if I take a shower before bed and I didn't wash my face, like like I always have, right, okay, this is what I'm doing. My Laneige is like right here on my bathroom sink. And then I will keep this in my shower so that I don't have to like bring my face wash into the shower, you know, because there has been so many times where I'm in the shower and I'm like, shit, I don't have my face wash. And then I have to like walk out and get my whole floor wet. So that happens more often than not. So I was like, okay, this was all my problem. And I also really wanted to try this. This smells this smells like the spa that I went to last night. It's it's so nice and it's so thick. It's so thick and luxurious. I love this stuff. It reminds me of MAC. MAC. It reminds me of Clinique's Take the Day Off, but way thicker and smells so good. I know some people like don't love scented face washes or anything like that. I don't really have very sensitive skin, so I don't mind it and honestly prefer a nice scent. And this just smells again like so oh my God, i don't even know but i i'm oh i want my house to smell like this i love this i'm very happy about that and i'm probably gonna buy it in full size and i really want to try more from the elements on because i obviously love skincare products and mm, that just smells so good if you guys have tried any of the elements products let me know what else i should get because 
I'm gonna get more. Okay, so makeup is done. Let's get dressed. Does anyone else wear sports bras to bed so when they wake up, you can just immediately work out because that <laughs> that is what I do. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe this would be really cute. Okay. My little cheat sheet for any sweater these days is really to just put a white t-shirt underneath or really any sort of t-shirt just like for a little contrast and then I just put some little tan booties with it I like all the neutral colors that like aren't exactly matching but I like a monochromatic vibe I like this kind of boring though I really actually am loving the scarf with the skirt every single time i have an outfit i try to like get some contrast in there in the sense of like i really like how this is like a ribbed material and then it's contrasting with like the linen of the skirt i think like when you're too matchy i almost end up not liking my outfit as much so i try to honestly throw pieces together that don't make any sense and then like somehow it comes together again just my opinion but i like something like this i think this is cute and again nothing is like absolutely matching but at the same time in my opinion i love like all the neutral colors it kind of just like goes also would wear this i wish that this sweater was a little bit more oversized but i again i love the neutral on neutral yeah i don't know i love this outfit i think it's so cute it's like so like wintry and chic and simple at the same time all right another option throwing out the monochromatic and maybe just putting like a dark v-neck sweater like this this one's from zara and then if I'm going to be more realistic for what I'll walk around in today, it would probably just be Uggs. And again, I feel like it's very like boho chic vibe, but again, I'm going with it. I kind of like it. Okay. This is what I'm going for. I switched. I went back with this like oatmeal-ish color and then I just put the scarf with it with the Uggs. found this hat from Cherry that they sent me with my order like two years ago and I went online and it's like... I don't know, a hundred dollar hat. Like I would never pay a hundred dollars for this, but they just randomly sent it to me. So thank you. Not that I'm going outside at the moment, but if I do, like I'm just gonna put some, my little cheetah, cheetah girl gloves. I love these so much. They're so cute. I've been wearing them so much. But yeah, hat. This is like the first hat that I saw it. Honestly, I feel like any beanie would go given how neutral the rest of the outfit is. It really matches, but I just think it goes. And I think it's cute. So outfit of the day complete this is the new rug i i love it i think it's really really nice it's very it just like goes with the vibe like again that blue rug that we had like i don't know what i was thinking and then this is the new rug that rt planto sent me and it's not exactly the same as my other one they said they got a new supplier and so when i opened it up i was like wait <laughs> it looks the same but it's not um and I was a little bit upset, to be honest, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? They sent me a new one. I'm not going to complain. They sent it to me free of charge, and it does look, like, very similar. And honestly, I saw, I was, like, going through my camera roll today, and I was like, oh, okay, this was the old one. Like, I saw, I took a picture of this when I first got it, and first glance, I was like, oh, this is the old one. I was like, wait, no, I don't even remember what the old one looks like. So, you know what? Like, it's fine. Like, the big difference is that there's not, like, a, like a medallion in the middle, you know what I mean? So whatever it it looks good um hopefully it doesn't fade because if it fades again then then i'm gonna have a problem but i think it's okay for now so anyway so i got the camera so this is the i don't know if i talked about this yesterday but whatever i'm gonna show you again it's the canon eos r50 i got the sd card and yeah I like recorded a little blip this morning but i was gonna finish off the vlog with this camera today but i was like you know what i don't want the quality to be different and i want to see how i can get the footage onto my mac i want to start a fresh vlog on this camera so i'm going to do that tomorrow because i actually have to get my hair cut and tomorrow's the weekend like well tomorrow's friday but like we're starting the weekend so i'm definitely gonna vlog tomorrow because next vlog after this vlog will be actually on the camera but let me know 
what types of logs you guys want to see. I feel like I've been kind of all over the place. I wanted to include a little bit more styling in just like my everyday vlog. So, so hopefully you guys like liked that. I just thought it would be fun to just like kind of like walk through the process of getting dressed because I've been doing it every single day and I'm like, it's it's like actually really interesting how I'm like learning what I gravitate towards most of the time. And if anything I've learned, I love neutrals and I love monochromatic looks. Like that is just like a, a go-to for me lately. So, okay, I have to work for the remainder of the day and I really have to get a lot of stuff done and I've taken like, I've already taken my break. <laughs> so we're gonna get back to it. I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching if you are still here. And yeah, I'm so excited for more to come, better quality videos on this camera. If you guys have any tips, please drop them in the comments, let me know. So thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.